Right, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Daily Grey. Now, I don't know where we got in the last vlog because things have been a bit hectic here recently. Hectic in the way that... Oh, I need a ball. That's what I need. Hectic in the way that uh, Khaleesi's been having some bits and spats and bats with injuries. Um, and I don't know what I've told him what I haven't, so I'm just going to start from the beginning because it's been so long since I've vlogged. It's difficult. Um, so, Khaleesi started yelping on the bike, um, don't know what's causing it, don't know what's going on, but she's been to thermal imaging in Shropshire, uh, we're just waiting for the results of that, hopefully it'll give us a diagnosis, or at least an area to diagnose, and then we can go from there. My gut feeling is that it's her teeth, um, in which case if it's a back teeth, I'll just pull them, if it's her canines, I'll pull them and um, get implants put in. Also purchased this, don't know if you've seen it. Academy. Also purchased a new coat. Don't know if you've seen it. You haven't. You definitely haven't seen this because it arrived today. My old coat's just getting a bit peely and a bit, a bit done with life. It's a bit, it's a bit had it. Um, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to do with this after I've trained the dogs is put it in the tumble dryer because it's freezing. Oh, tripod, 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 tripod. I don't know how vloggers always have got a tripod on them. I was watching Olivia Towers dressage earlier. And she's just seemingly always has a tripod. Like, does she have a guy who carries it around? A tripod man? I wish I had a tripod man. I have to walk around and look for the damn thing. Um, today, I have got a half day session in at two o'clock, so two till five with Helen, who is one of my longer standing clients. I really like her, so I'm looking forward to that. The horses are in the paddock temporarily. Whilst I go and train because I can't train on that because, well, look at it. So they're there, crunching away on frozen grass. They'll go back in the arena as soon as I've done this. So we need to get... Fitness is on the agenda today, guys. Fitness! Fitness! Come on. Off you go. Nope. Good. So yeah, that's where we're at. Khaleesi's literally finding herself. No other signs of injury. Okay. No other signs of injury at all, except this yelping on the bite. So obviously we've not done any bite work since. Um, and we'll <coughs> shut up. We'll see how she goes. You could do with warming up a bit first, wouldn't you, really? Let's just have a walk around, go on, go away. Don't you just have a, a jog around? I don't think enough people warm their dogs up. Let me switch the camera off, my arm's killing their dogs up. It's so easy just to bring them, let's say go away. Bring them out of the kennel and, and start working. I'll bring them out of the house and start working. But it's cold out here. It's sub-zero today. Um, you need to warm your dogs up, guys. So all I'm doing at the moment is letting her have a, a free jog. It doesn't have to be a big structured warm-up. Don't get me wrong, there are ways of warming a dog up that are better than others. You know, there are, there are some agility guys that will that will full-blown you know, stretches and, and warm-ups that way and swimming and... This way. This way. Thankfully for me, Khaleesi, free lunges. So I can lunge her in both directions just to get some blood moving. That's all I'm really interested in. I just want to stop pulling. Okay. Okay. Good. I just want us to not pull things. This way. Fan. Good. Fan. This was one of the better things I ever taught her, to be honest. Just useful. This way. Pan. Pan. Good. I just want to get some blood going. And then we'll start working properly. So I'm going to finish this warm up. Sit. Shut up. Good girl. Police. Sit. It's very good. I'm gonna finish this warm up and then we'll we'll get going.
Right, is that done? Come here. Come on, Jesus Christ. I know you're tired. Last. One tired pooch. Right, let's go. Wait for me talking again. Um, I, I can't train flack. Not, not in this exercise because he's currently still a wee bit injured. Uh, he cracked his claw a while ago. And he's got a little cut in the top of his foot as well. So he's currently in bandage. Go. Um, but I'll get him out later to do heel work because he's not he's not bad. I just don't want him bowling around at 50,000 miles an hour. Just ain't good for anyone involved. Um, so, mildly disappointing. The elastic on the bottom of my coat's not tight enough. My other coat fit like a glove. And this one doesn't. But this one does have... AJCS down the sleeve, which I like, and I've got rid of the right on the back. I've got my name on the front. I'm just, um, I didn't like being stopped as a dog trainer all the time. I know it still says Obsidian K9 on it, but unless you know what Obsidian K9 is, you're probably not going to know what's going on. So today also is the anniversary of Misha's dad's death, which is very morbid, I know, but we decorate the house for Christmas on the 2nd every year because of this. So let me show you around. What have we got done so far? Are you doing it? Yeah, I'm Yeah? You do it then. Are you going to help decorate the tree later? Yeah? Very weird, Matt. What are you doing? Round and round. Get a second, Matt. Why have you got that back? No, no, it's been so. What have you got there? You say night-night? Night-night. Night-night, Spencer. Night-night. Spencer. Spencer. Night-night. Shh. You got yourself a little lantern? It's a gorgeous day out here. And it's weirdly, I mean, it's not warm by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not as freezing as it has been all, all of this has just been ice all of that's been ice the lake thing over there <laughs> there's not not meant to be a lake it's meant to be a paddock um but all of that was all of that was frozen i don't know how much you can see can't see shit because of the sun um i've got 50 minutes until my client arrives so i'm just gonna clean the kennels it seems like oh look Look how well that's healed. You can barely even see it. It's a bit raised. It's a bit tender. But other than that, I'm not really having any issues with it. So what I'm going to do, after I've got my tripod, because I don't have a man to carry my tripod. Olivia Towers, if by any bizarre stretch you ever watch this, how do you always have a tripod with you? When you're milking the horses out, you have a tripod. When you're riding, you have a tripod. You always have a tripod. How do you do it? How do you do it? I wish I knew. Life would be so much easier. Right, dogs. Be light. Let's clean some kennels. The joys of dog training. Right, kennel cleaned. Come on, wheelbar up. Get out of the way. For God's sake. I tell you what, someone needs to design a wheelbarrow that, that tips both ways. Would you wheel it into your doorway like this? 
You can't get out. You can't get out. Time to fill water up. Got my tripod and everything. Police say, why are you leaving out? Why are you leaving out, bro? Whilst we're on the topic of Olivia Towers, in fact, this vlog may well be called for the attention of Olivia Towers. I'm gonna to try and find out how she gets her tripods everywhere. Maybe she has 10 tripods. But whilst we're on the topic, I watched a vlog. I don't know if it's new or old or what, but I watched a vlog uh, the other day of hers. And it was talking about how the work ethic in the equine industry is dying. And it's exactly the same in the dog training industry. I'm like, yeah, I love going and competing. I love, you know, fancy videos and trophies and, and all that jazz. And it's cool. You know, you're going on to AVD night trials, it's stop eating horse poo. It's all your circle, your people. Everyone gets together, we have barbecues, it's, it's awesome. Middle of summer. But it's not the reality. The day-to-day -day reality of dog training is much like the horse world, it's hard. It's out here in the freezing cold. Although, like I just said, it's not as cold as it has been. But when you've been out here a while, the old hands start going, the old hands start going. It's filling water buckets up, it's mucking kennels out, it's dealing with this wally. And it's everything that goes around with that. You know, we have a couple of horses here, we have ducks, we have chickens, it's... People see the facility and they're like, oh wow, amazing. We have to keep the damn thing. We have to cut grass, de-weed, and just all the unglamorous stuff. And I think more and more... Nay, get out of the horse field. Come on. I think more and more dog trainers, or certainly aspiring dog trainers, forgetting that you know you have to go and pay your dues i went over to america seven years ago she used to clean rottweiler poo up pretty much i mean not not permanently obviously there's, there's always perks but it's the same in the horse world as as being a groom as being a, a stable boy a stable girl you have to go and pay your dues somewhere and it's difficult um and olivia covered this in her vlog that that it's hard to look after your house and also I'm walking, I'm walking like I've brought my leg because I'm carrying a massive bucket of water. I'm trying not to spill it and I'm trying to film and I have a Malinois chasing me around. <laughs> One bucket of water. One bucket of water, can I say? Every day you get a new bucket, don't you? Come on, Come on get yourself in. Okay, we'll train later. Can I say? Train later. For those of you wondering as well, do my dogs live in kennels? Kind of live half and half. Get in! Come on, back up! Jesus! We kind of live half and half. So they're, they're generally in kennels during the day so they can rest while I'm training clients and stuff. And then I usually train them. Obviously, I've trained this morning. And then they come in the house on the evening until, I don't know, one o'clock in the morning. And then just come back in their kennels. So they're half house dogs, half kennel dogs, half out training dogs. Yes, back to my point. Oh, wait there. My arm was aching. I need to swap sides. Um, back to my point in question. It's difficult. The wages and stuff, they are difficult. Because you're never going to earn that much money mucking someone's kennels out. It's just not how it works. It's not how this, it's not how this world works. Um, and she pointed out she'd love to see more, more finance available. Um, but then it has this rundown effect that if, if yards start paying people more, they have to earn more to, to keep them afloat. And then clients have to pay more. And then clients don't want to pay more. And it's, that's the reality. Um, so yeah, you have to pay your dues in this game, guys. If you work with animals in any capacity, my average day in America early on was get up at five-ish, um, muck out 60 dogs. Um, well, no, I'm lying. Get up at five-ish, put 60 dogs back out in their kennels because you already had the same thing going on where we had half and half, indoor, outdoor. Put 60 dogs out, or well, certainly 40, 20 of them would stay out. Muck 60 dogs out. Rinse and repeat, get into a bite suit, get bitten a lot um, by his working dogs, by his protection dogs. Rinse and repeat, get back. Muck 60 dogs out, put 60 dogs away at night. And it's hard, it's difficult. It's an extremely difficult going on. You know, when, you've, when you're at this, this point in your life where you want a bit of glamour and a bit of, you know, branding and nice jackets and people coming up to you and saying hello and it's cool, don't get me wrong. Wow, you're wired, mate. You're wired. Relax. You're a Malinois, you don't relax, do you? Um, of course it's cool, and it's cool, you know, filming videos and people watch them and all this jazz. 
but it's just not the reality, especially early on. You're going to have to pay your dues, like it or not. You have to do the work. And even now, as a competitive dog trainer, as you know, I train I don't know, 300 dogs a year, clients wise. I have an academy in 29 countries. I'm busy. And even now, I still have some kennels out every day. I don't want someone else doing this, they're my dogs. I like this bit. Get in the dirt, it's good for you. Cold. Right, that's Flack's kennel done. Flack is currently in his box, chewing a ball. What I'm gonna do is go and do his water. And have a chat to you guys. So I do water every day. Um, you'll be able to see in a minute. The, the, the water's full, pretty much. I do it every day. And there it is, look. Full bucket. Um, I do it every day just to make sure that they've always got fresh water. Um, the same reason I muck them out every day. Or certainly near enough every day. However, caveat, don't try and be a perfect. I don't muck them out if... One second. One second. Give it a good rinsey rinse. So look. Um, I don't look out if they've not been in the kennels all day, obviously. Don't, don't try and be this perfect, perfect owner of dogs or horses or whatever you've got. Um, yeah, so this vlog, as you can now see, because I just decided, is called For the Attention of Olivia Towers. Olivia, I'm tagging you in this video. You better tell me where you get your tripod from. Well, your multiple tripods or your tripod man or whatever the hell you've always got one. She's just done a video with uh, FEI. I'll link it if I remember. However, those of you that have been watching a while know it's unlikely that I'm going to remember. She did a video with FEI about daily yard tour. I mean, I'm sure that was filmed with cameramen, but all her vlogs, films everything. Oh, she does it. So my next plan now, half an hour until my client arrives. As you all know, I don't really tend to film much clients. So I probably don't film anything of this, to be honest, because it's a, it's a bit more of a catch-up session than, than an anything interesting or advanced behavior or anything. So I'm probably going to uh, not film this one. It's Helen and Chara, for those of you in the academy that are watching this. So I'm looking forward to this. It should be good. Um, yeah, half an hour till that. And then I need to do some heel work as well. Because basically in the last, I mean, a couple of months, even maybe. Maybe even a few months. One second. Peace. The last, the last couple of months or so, I've been struggling with training, and it's mainly due to dogs' injuries. You know, we've just been getting injury after injury, and it's been a headache. Khaleesi, relax, mate. You can train soon. Jesus. You're not full of it today, bud. Full of it because she's semi-injured, and I need to figure out what's wrong with her. Yeah, so it's hard to keep your mojo when your dogs are getting injury after injury. So I had Khaleesi's cardiovascular stuff. Um, what did Flack do? Flack did something. He was in for ages in a cage. Anyway, I don't, I don't Oh, yeah, he sliced his foot open. That's saying the vet's antibiotics all went septic. Headache. Um, so he did that. Then Khaleesi started doing this neck thing. He snapped his back. Flack snapped one of his back claws off. Not not fully off, not ripped out. Just crap, like snapped down the middle. Um, and then... Uh, so khaleesi has been at thermal imaging and now he's got a cut in the top of his foot and it's very difficult. So... Basically, what I've done is, is revert back to the old days where I've got a training plan every day. So I've planned the next, I think, 14 days. You know, what I'm going to cover. So yesterday was heel work um, for both dogs and... Oh, article indications. Might still be on my Instagram if you're lucky. It might not be. Um, so we did that. Today's heel work, fitness, bark and holds. Uh, yeah, that's it. Heel work, fitness and bark and holds. I've done the fitness and bark and holds. Um... Obviously, I haven't done the fitness with Flack because of his foot. But I think he'll be back in full work in the next three or four days. Um, I stuck some colloidal silver on it. Last night, in fact, let me show you. I stuck his colloidal silver on it under recommendation of many people. If you've used it, let me know. Uh, this stuff. I've got a huge bottle of it. Sprayed this on it, rewrapped it. We'll see how it's looking tonight. Um, I just don't need nails to split again because that's just a colossal headache trying to get nails to heal. So that's where we're at. Um, hopefully the training plan will help keep things on track a bit more. Polishing up a few little loose ends with Cara and then we should be good to go. Um, 
like I said earlier in the vlog, there's nothing, nothing really to fix. Also, if in the background at all, you have seen that my two cars there and this car is here. I haven't got three cars. Well, I, I have got three cars, but not, not to keep. This car is not very healthy. So I went and bought the one series. Um, I took the wheels off Jimmy and put it on there. Right, Helen's back with Cara. Let's see how this went. Again, outside looking for a damn tripod. Olivia Towers, what's the answer? What's the answer? I'm hoping I left it in the kennel. Um, so I finished with Cara for the day. Um, all good, all easy. She basically had a, a tiny little bit of polishing to do with uh, aggression towards small dogs, but nothing nothing that difficult it took minutes minutes to resolve there's my tripod how's it going doggos we'll train in a bit we'll train in a bit don't worry i've just got to decorate the tree i know you don't have a clue what i'm gibbering on about but i'm a weird dog guy and i talk to my dogs um so we're just going to decorate the tree now because like i said earlier in the vlog anniversary of misha's dad's death and this is what we do every year and this is what we'll probably continue to do every year until May, another tradition takes hold, which is unlikely. Um, I'm in charge of the lights. <laughs> decorated uh, what's he called tradition honored as you can see it's extremely dark out here that's just my security light however I now have got heel work to train and this is another place where the dog and the horse industry really really share um, similarities so what I need to do now is work out which one this massive light is flood light this one Big ol' floodlight. Is that on? Please be on. It is on. So this light currently doesn't look very bright. I mean, it's, it's bright enough to see, but it's, it's not largely bright. Watch this thing in 10 minutes when the halogen comes on. Um, it's a halogen light. I need to change it to LED, really, but hey-ho is what it is. Um, what was I saying? Let's plug these on so I can talk to you. Yeah, the horse and the dog industry share this. Seeing as today's vlog is called for the attention of Olivia, Howers, Olivia Towers to try and find out how she holds as a tripod. Um, realities are shared in the way that in, in most jobs, in most industries, you finish and, you know, whatever time. Some, some industries obviously finish at half five, like shops and things, normal, normal people. Um, offices and things like that. Some industries finish at you know 10, 11, petrol stations, co-ops, things like that. And then there's industries like dogs and horses or really anything to do with animals where you finish, you go inside, you enjoy your time a bit and then you have to go out and do something else. So like, I mean I'm, I'm about to train now. I'm about to do heel work. Oh you can, you can start seeing that light lighting up. Um, I'm about to go out and do heel work but even if I wasn't trained tonight you have to you know go back out at 10, 11, do final checks. You have to go out at 7, 8, feed. Um, 
if I if I had full days of clients in today, I would have had to go out at you know this sort of time and um, clean the kennels. Look at that! Look how much better that is. It's a properly properly bright light. So let's go get a dog. Time to train. Tripod on. Let's see how bright it looks. Oh, what have I just stood in? Oh, just moss. There we go. Let's go for about there. Onwards, or not onwards as it seems, because my light's just gone off. No! Look, you can just... Let's kind of see it up there. For God's sake! Well, Tony, she the bulbs blown. I can hear it. I can hear it making the noise it always makes. But it's not turning on. It ain't turning on. And it's way too high to check without ladders and stuff. <sighs> plan B, plan B. Right. One final go. Oh, it's already on. Let's uh, wait there. <clears throat> Come on, plug. Come on, plug. Let's have one final bash. Oh, oh, oh. Way. So the light's obviously on its way out. Right, I'm gonna just hope that, that that stays on and warms up. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna go and train over there near my security lights. Because as you can see, as you can see, when this switch is on, it is fairly bright. Um, the issue is that it's, it's very bright up close, but like if you can see here, this side's nicely lit up, but as soon as you step in front of it, the other side's not, not really. Whereas that, it's just like the sun. <sighs> right, attempt two. Let's get dog out. Find the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and run, yeah, yeah.
Right, so for those of you that have been watching a long time, you obviously know both my dogs do full competition heel work. They don't need luring anymore. However, um, I'm currently in the potential process of wanting to go and play a new sport where the heel work's judged. Wait for this light to come on. Ding! Where the heel work is judged um, immensely more harshly, so I need to clean everything up a little bit. Just, you know, in the preemption that we do end up going and playing said sport, I'll announce that whenever I feel like I definitely can. Um, Khaleesi's results coming back from the thermal people tonight uh, I've read the report but it's all written in vet gobbledygook essentially there's potentially something wrong with her neck or back um, which is not a massive deal um, I know an amazing equine and canine physiotherapist called Breeder Noon who will inevitably fix that for me um, so yeah I think, we'll, I think we'll call it a day there 27 now I'm going to bring my dogs inside, get them fed once they've settled down after that session, um, give them an hour or so, feed them, give them another hour or so in their, you know, just chilling in the house. And then I don't think we've got any more training to do, so they can just sit with me and enjoy an evening of peace. Uh, tomorrow we're going tracking. Well, I'm going tracking. Say we. Probably be just me. But we'll see. We'll see if anyone else wants to join. Um, yeah, so points from today. One, the canine and the equine world share a lot more in common than people think. Two, Olivia Towers, how do you always have a tripod with you? Three, go and check out her vlog channel because she's um, incredibly good at what she does. And I think that they've either just competed in Grand Prix or they're just about to compete in Grand Prix, which is cool. Uh, four, I'll update you on Khaleesi as and when I know more. That's it. Question of the day. You missed my vlogs? Been a while.